Welcome to Spot the Knife with Aussie Mark. Somewhere in the shot, there's a knife that I've dropped. To make it just that little bit more difficult, it's my Big Drunox one hand trekker with the camouflage handle scales. Can you see it? No, knife can I, but it's there. Let's just zoom in. There it is. Not easy to see, is it? Camouflage handle scales are really cool, but what if you drop it? What then? Hmm. Okay, let's try that again. Same knife, same position. This time we've added a lanyard made of bright orange 550 paracord. Can you see it? I think you can. There it is. Why are we playing this silly game? Basically, just to demonstrate why I put a bright orange paracord on a camouflage knife. Let's go do this review. Stop making me here. G'day and welcome to my look at the Victory Knox One Hand Trekker knife or multi tool. This is a great thing. I've um, been carrying this around recently in a lot of my hiking and geocaching adventures uh, as my pocket blade, in addition to the fixed blade that I carry in my pack. And the sheer utility and usefulness of this thing is really hard to beat. It's, it's a great thing. I've really become a convert to the Victor Rinox. So let's talk about what we've got here. This, as mentioned, is the one hand trekker, which means it's got a one hand opening blade. There's also a standard trekker, which doesn't have the one hand opening blade. In other words, you, you won't see the blade of this thumb hole opener here. Although these are one hand opening blades, they're not one hand opening um, in the sense of some of the American sort of knives where they're fast opening. This is, is strictly a slow opening knife, but we'll demonstrate that later. The one I have in front of me has got the camouflage handle scales and it also has a non serrated blade. The vast majority of these that you'll see around do in fact have the serrated blade and rather interestingly on these knives the serrations run forward from around this point here all the way to the tip of the blade so there's only a very short run of plain edge at the back. In fact one of the reasons I ended up the camo um, handle that you see here is that I really wanted the plain edge blade and uh, the only one that the supplier had in stock was the camouflage handle. But that's okay, I don't mind that. Just quickly on the camouflage handle, um, I've done a little bit of a, a scratch test on it and it's basically a black handle scale and um, those extra colours you see there have been painted on. So potentially over a period of time those other colours, the, the green, the brown, the tan may, may in fact wear away. But that's probably no big deal. Alright, on to the knife. What's in it? Um, well basically a lot. I should just do some measurements I suppose before doing it. I haven't measured this thing. Um, so I'll just put the, the tape there and be really slack and lazy about how I do this. You guys can see for yourself there what the, uh, the length is and probably also the blade length. Plenty of other reviews out there that go into that sort of detail. Alright, the, um, the blade as mentioned, it's a flat grind, it's stainless steel. I'm not sure on the exact, exact steel type that Victor and Ox use. I am however aware that um, they're considered to be one of the best as far as um, rust resistance goes. Very good quality steel. You can see up on the uh, in front of the thumb stud there's a little bit of engraving there. It just says Victor and Ox Swiss made. Um, the overall quality of the knife is excellent. We'll just run through what the tools are. As I said, I've got them all folded out just at the present moment, so we can have a look at them. Just folded one in, which wasn't a clever idea. We might go up on the back first. Up on the back of the braid, there's two tools. You've got a Phillips head screwdriver, which just folds out on that side, non-locking. And you've also got this awl. Now, it has a very sharp edge just along there, and it's designed to be um, turned clockwise to make holes and that sort of thing very good little tool and again that's that's not locking that just folds back into the spine of the blade so that's your two t two tools up on the back before we get into the depths of it also you'll see this little thing here that is a toothpick it's always struck me it's odd that they put toothpicks in but there must be a reason for it and on this side quite a useful little tool this actually is a pair of tweezers I'll just get them into shot for you um, and they're actually surprisingly good so and they sit in there quite securely, I um, thought they might drop out or something, but no, they, they sit there very happily. Alright, on the back of the, the blade down the bottom, or back of the knife down the bottom, we've got a combination tool which locks in. You can see the locking tab just there, and that locks that in. We've got a flat blade screwdriver, we've got a bottle opener, and also a little wire stripper there. Now to unlock that, you push that tab, and also there's an indent there which will lock it at 90 degrees. So should you need to get that extra leverage when you're undoing a, a tight screw or doing up something a bit tighter, you can operate it much like a uh, T-bar, so I'll fold that right out of the way. Okay, down into here, we've got a combination tool again. This has got on the tip here a short flat blade screwdriver, and we've got a can in here. 
we've got a wood saw. And again, that's not locking. The only two locking tools are the large screwdriver bottle opener and the blade. The wood saw is very easy to access, however, just at the back here, you can see it just protrudes a little bit. So you just grab that with the end of your thumb or finger and, and it folds out. And again, as said, not locking. I'm not going to fold it out because I'll risk cutting myself on that main blade. The main blade is locking. And interestingly enough, the Swiss put their uh, liner locks in the opposite direction to the, all the American stuff which is great for left-handers like me because we could finally use a locking mechanism like this line like the way it's meant to be used, by pushing instead of pulling it. So it just slides across to the right and the blade drops in. Now, I'll just zoom out there. As mentioned, these are not a fast opening knife. You're not going to be able to just flick this out of the handle. It's just a deliberate action and they lock you. And you can close them one-handed. Again, you've got to have a little bit of practice. You can hear that very solid lock. It locks up very nice and tight. A little bit of movement, but I don't see that as a as a big problem. It came very sharp out of the box. I won't do a cutting test because you know how bad I am at those if you've watched any of my other videos. Weight on this thing, um, in case I forgot to mention it, is 4.7 ounces or 132 grams. So yeah, it's a little bit heavy, but I think for the utility that you're getting, it's quite worthwhile. So why don't we have a bit of a, a play with some of these tools and see if they actually uh, work as claimed? What can we play with first? Let's see. How about? the bottle opener. Where's that? After a hard day's hiking, you might want to open a bottle if you brew. Does it work? It takes a couple of goes, but it gets the cap off and we're into the bubbly stuff. So that's all good. Okay, so that's fine. We're happy with that. Just fold that back out of the way. What else can we play with here? Where's that can opener? Alright, can I prepared earlier. Now the way this operates is it'll only work going around to the right, which I'm not actually quite used to, and it's got that sharp edge on the front, so basically we're going to work our way around like that. So I'll just put that down there. I'll zoom it in a bit so you guys will actually be able to see. So we get that little notch on there, punch that in. And I'm not going to get too far because it'll be the second most boring video I've ever made if I do. Now I haven't practiced much of this and I think that's probably showing. But yeah, that gets into that tin, no problem. So it works. No good having all these tools or they don't actually work. The other thing I'm going to have a bit of a test run on for you is a little wood saw. Now it's, it's not the longest saw in the world, of course it comes in at around three and a half inches, say 90 millimeters, that little saw blade. It is very, very sharp. I'll try and do a close up of the teeth there, the double teeth, um, quite effective. So we'll just transition across and we'll have a little test on this. Yeah, I cut this off a uh, tree at the back just before with this little saw to test it. And I thought we'll bring it in and try it. Now this is a, a sapling, you can see there, a little bit of flexibility, it's, it's wet. Um, it's around about half an inch thick, something like that. And we're going to give this little saw a bit of a run on it and see how we go. Not too bad. It's a little bit limited by the, the blade length, but for little jobs like that, um, very effective. Doesn't take a whole lot of effort to, to push it through. It's very sharp and it's, it's doing the job really well. Quite impressed with that. So there it is, the Victory Knox One Hand Trekker. There's a heap of these sorts of knives made by Victor Knox. Uh, the one hand opening range you'll also find, I think there's uh, German army, there's Swiss army ones, different colorations, black handles, green handles. The army ones I don't think come with the tweezers and the toothpick. Um, the toothpick's probably not important, but I've got to say I think the uh, the tweezers are quite a useful thing. If you were to get little fawns or something in you out in the, out in the wilderness, I think it would be quite a useful thing. Overall, for utility, uh, quality, really just can't go wrong with one of these things. A great um, thing to have in your pocket when you're out in the wilderness. Of course, as I say, I tend to also have a, a fixed blade, but um, for utility, in the pocket, ready to go for whatever your tasks may be, this thing is really worth its weight. Thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the review. Bye for now.